Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you a flip through of the two journals that I made on December the 16th during my live stream. These are using the Winter's Bliss digital downloads. I have two different ones in my shop. One is featuring what was the original subscription box that I had last year in 2018, and then the other is what we call the Large Journal Kit. So let me kind of go through it with you really fast. I chose to print one of the journal pages as a cover on one of these journals and the other I think this was a cover page that I used on this one. I printed it on a linen cardstock and then I went around some of these images with some tulip dimensional glitter paint. Let me get one. So tulip dimensional glitter paint and usually pick it up in the t-shirt department and I just love the way it adds just a little bit of sparkle on here and as I said I printed several different pages from the kit these are some of the postcards that are in the kit this was spraying tattered angels and mopping it up on a stencil of mine I even used some rubber stamps and some fibers to make an altered paper clip these are in my shop. They're by Beeline Designs. This is just a greeting card or Christmas card that I had that I thought would be kind of nice. The belly band is from the kit. The background here is a scrapbook piece of paper and I show how to fold this up and make it into a page. And then I have used some of the fussy cut elements that are part of the kit. I even printed the envelopes two-sided so you can have a pretty print on the inside. And then these are little cards that fit right inside. And then I made a little pocket here. This is one of the little bitty postcards that's in the kit. One of the larger postcards. And the postcard backing is there as well. So you can print them front and back. This was using the December Stencil Club, the snowflake from that from 2019. If you are interested in the December Stencil Club, you can check it out on my website. Using a scrap to make a little tab and then some of the fussy cut words. I happen to have some stickers in my stash, so I used a couple of them in the journal. Another journal card, another sprayed page using Tattered Angels. I have a tutorial that shows you how to make this page or this journal card and envelope, how to decorate them. This was using a gel print and washi tape on the background, some words from Calico Collage and another sticker. I also used the shabby stitches around the edge, so it looks like I've sewn it, but I didn't. I've sheeted. I do have that as part of the Monday tutorial that shows you how I put this together. I also made this little pocket in here. I used a greeting card that I had in my stash, and I thought it was kind of funny. It's like three wise men and then there's these three maybe wise children maybe that's what they were like when they were young right <laughs> I made a pocket on this side this was just using some gel print scraps rubber stamps as well as over here used a piece of music a domino image from calico collage the shabby stitches another one of the journal pages another one of the tags from the kit. This is a library pocket that's in the kit. This page back here is a gel print that I scanned into my computer and that is a digital download that I have in my shop. This is a set of postcards that Norella offers in her shop and I printed them as five by seven. They normally come out on eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I told my printer to print that full page as a, eight, a five by seven and so I got smaller little postcards and I made it into a tuck spot. I have a tutorial that shows how this page is put together. It is, I think it's called the Spray Stenciled Stamp Journal page. So it shows you all of the pieces. And then this was a page that I made during the live stream. So I showed you how I stamped all of this, used washi tape, gel prints. Uh, this is one of those little tear off notepads. Use some music, gel print, gel print. There's another gel print. Down here you may not be able to see that, but there's some lace 
and I've added some tulip dimensional paint on there. I thought it was kind of pretty. This is a new chipboard piece that I offer in my shop and I have painted it with acrylic paint in white and then I sprayed it with the colors from the Peacock Christmas. So I thought that would be kind of pretty to kind of give it a little added touch there. This is an, another part of the tutorial that I have in my shop or my uh, tutorial list. The other half of the greeting card, I used another gel print. This is where the sentiment was, and it was a used greeting card. It had writing, you know, to so-and-so, from so-and-so. So I just covered it up with a gel print. Another journal card from the kit. And I made a pocket here just to kind of cover up the barcode, that kind of stuff. But it also gives us a place to tuck a little card. Another gel print with the washi tape around the outside edge. And here is a little pocket, so it has one of the little journal cards in here. Stamping again. The other pocket for the scrapbook page. I love the little foxes, they're super cute. This was a journal card that I had, or note card that I had in my stash, and I thought, well, it goes because it's got the blues and it's got some sparkles on it. And that's the first journal, and I just tied it shut with a piece of ribbon. And the second journal is pretty much like the first journal. I printed this piece here, and I accidentally put it in my printer wrong, and I printed what was supposed to be the back over the, uh, the image on the front. And I just liked the way it turned out, so I went ahead and used it the way it was. It makes it a little bit more grungy, I think. Another one of the altered paper clips there. It was fun making these journals. What I did was I sat about and collected all of the supplies and selected enough to do two and made one ahead of time or made a tutorial out of it. And then I was able to do them either live or make a tutorial out of the second page. So by doing that, I ended up with two journals that I was able to use as a giveaway in my live stream. So if you didn't know, whenever I do my live streams, I have giveaways. And at the end, I, if I have a journal or more than one, I will give those away. I love the way the glitter looks on here. And this is a little card that fits right inside. Do you know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick flip through of the journals that I made on the live stream. I hope that you will come and attend next time. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Check the description box for links to the products that I use as well as my social media connectors, my YouTube, of course you're here, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my Facebook groups as well. And I hope that you'll join us on one of the live streams. Uh, you can always watch the replays of the live streams that I have. Remember that depending on what device you're on, you can go either below, click on the gear, and change the speed to two times the speed. If you're on an iPad and you go up here, there's like three little dots. You can change the speed by choosing playback speed. So I hope that you know that gives you a good little tip that you can use. You know, and I say this uh, frequently, if you follow someone on any social media and you enjoy what they do, share their works so that other people can find them because that's how it gets around. It's kind of like word of mouth. You've got to share it so other people find them. And that way they're encouraged to continue to create and inspire you. Well, thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, and again, like I said, leave a comment. Y'all take care, and Merry Christmas. Bye.